Chemical reaction network theory is an area of applied mathematics that attempts to model the behavior of real-world chemical systems. Since its foundation in the 1960s, it has attracted a growing research community, mainly due to its applications in biochemistry and theoretical chemistry. It has also attracted interest from pure mathematicians due to the interesting problems that arise from the mathematical structures involved. History Dynamical properties of reaction networks were studied in chemistry and physics after the invention of the law of mass action. The essential steps in this study were introduction of detailed balance for the complex chemical reactions by Rudolf Wegscheider 1901, development of the quantitative theory of chemical chain reactions by Nikolai Semenov 1934, development of kinetics of catalytic reactions by Cyril Norman Hinshelwood, and many other results. Three eras of chemical dynamics can be revealed in the flux of research and publications. These eras may be associated with leaders, the first is the Van T. Hoff era, the second may be called the semenov hinshelwood era and the third is definitely the Aris era. The «eras» may be distinguished based on the main focuses of the scientific leaders, Van Hoff was searching for the general law of chemical reaction related to specific chemical properties. The term, "...chemical dynamics", belongs to Van Hoff. The semenov hinshelwood focus was an explanation of critical phenomena observed in many chemical systems, in particular in flames. A concept chain reactions elaborated by these researchers influenced many sciences, especially nuclear physics and engineering. ARIS activity was concentrated on the detailed systematization of mathematical ideas and approaches, the mathematical discipline, chemical reaction network theory was originated by Rutherford Arras, a famous expert in chemical engineering, with the support of Clifford Truesdell, the founder and editor-in-chief of the journal Archive for Rational Mechanics and Analysis. The paper of R. Arras in this journal was communicated to the journal by C. Truesdell. It opened the series of papers of other authors which were communicated already by R. Arras. The well-known papers of this series are the works of Frederick J. Crambeck, Roy Jackson, Friedrich Joseph Maria Horn, Martin Feinberg and others, published in the 1970s. In his second, Prolegomena paper, R. Arras mentioned the work of N. Z. Shapiro, L. S. Shapley 1965, where an important part of his scientific program was realized. Since then, the chemical reaction network theory has been further developed by a large number of researchers internationally. Overview A chemical reaction network often abbreviated to CRN comprises a set of reactants, a set of products often intersecting the set of reactants, and a set of reactions. For example, the pair of combustion reactions form a reaction network. The reactions are represented by the arrows. The reactants appear to the left of the arrows, in this example they are H 2 display style ceh2 hydrogen o 2 display style ceo2 oxygen and c carbon the products appear to the right of the arrows here they are h 2 o display style ceh2o water and co2 display style ce co2 
carbon dioxide. In this example, since the reactions are irreversible and neither of the products are used up in the reactions, the set of reactants and the set of products are disjoint. Mathematical modeling of chemical reaction networks usually focuses on what happens to the concentrations of the various chemicals involved as time passes. Following the example above, let a represent the concentration of H 2 display style CEH 2 in the surrounding air B represent the concentration of O 2 display style CEO 2 C represent the concentration of H 2 O display style CEH 2 O and so on. Since all of these concentrations will not in general remain constant, they can be written as a function of time e.g. a t b t etc. These variables can then be combined into a vector x T equals A T B T C T display style x T equals left begin array C A T B T C T V D O T S end array right, and their evolution with time can be written x d x d t equals d a d t d b d t d c d t Display style dot x equivalent frac dx dt equals left begin array c frac da dt six pt frac db dt six pt frac dc dt six pt v dots end array right. This is an example of a continuous autonomous dynamical system, commonly written in the form x equals f x display style dot x equals f x the number of molecules of each reactant used up each time a reaction occurs is constant as is the number of molecules produced of each product these numbers are referred to as the stoichiometry of the reaction and the difference between the two i.e. the overall number of molecules used up or produced is the net stoichiometry. This means that the equation representing the chemical reaction network can be rewritten as x equals gamma v x Display style dot x equals gamma v x. Here, each column of the constant matrix gamma display style gamma represents the net stoichiometry of a reaction, and so gamma display style gamma is called the stoichiometry matrix v x. Display style v x is a vector-valued function where each output value represents a reaction rate, referred to as the kinetics. Topic: <laughs> Common assumptions. For physical reasons, it is usually assumed that reactant concentrations cannot be negative, and that each reaction only takes place if all its reactants are present, i.e. all have non-zero concentration. 
For mathematical reasons, it is usually assumed that V x display style V x is continuously differentiable. It is also commonly assumed that no reaction features the same chemical as both a reactant and a product i.e. no catalysis or autocatalysis, and that increasing the concentration of a reactant increases the rate of any reactions that use it up. This second assumption is compatible with all physically reasonable kinetics, including mass action, Michaelis-Menten and Hill kinetics. Sometimes further assumptions are made about reaction rates, e.g. that all reactions obey mass action kinetics. Other assumptions include mass balance, constant temperature, constant pressure, spatially uniform concentration of reactants, and so on. <laughs> Types of results As chemical reaction network theory is a diverse and well-established area of research, there is a significant variety of results. Some key areas are outlined below. <laughs> Number of steady states These results relate to whether a chemical reaction network can produce significantly different behavior depending on the initial concentrations of its constituent reactants. This has applications in e.g. modeling biological switches. A high concentration of a key chemical at steady state could represent a biological process being switched on, whereas a low concentration would represent being switched off". For example, the catalytic trigger is the simplest catalytic reaction without autocatalysis that allows multiplicity of steady states 1976. This is the classical adsorption mechanism of catalytic oxidation. Here a 2 b display style ce a2 b and ab display style ce ab are gases for example o2 display style ce o2 co display style ce co and co Two display style ce co two z display style ce z is the adsorption place on the surface of the solid catalyst. For example, pt display style ce pt az display style ce az and BZ display style CE BZ are the intermediates on the surface additives adsorbed molecules or radicals this system may have two stable steady states of the surface for the same concentrations of the gaseous components topic Stability of steady states Stability determines whether a given steady state solution is likely to be observed in reality. Since real systems unlike deterministic models tend to be subject to random background noise, an unstable steady state solution is unlikely to be observed in practice. Instead of them, stable oscillations or other types of attractors may appear. Persistence Persistence has its roots in population dynamics. A non-persistent species in population dynamics can go extinct for some initial conditions. Similar questions are of interest to chemists and biochemists, i.e., 
If a given reactant was present to start with, can it ever be completely used up? <laughs> Existence of stable periodic solutions Results regarding stable periodic solutions attempt to rule out «unusual» behavior. If a given chemical reaction network admits a stable periodic solution, then some initial conditions will converge to an infinite cycle of oscillating reactant concentrations. For some parameter values it may even exhibit quasi-periodic or chaotic behavior. While stable periodic solutions are unusual in real-world chemical reaction networks, well-known examples exist, such as the belousov jabotinsky reactions. The simplest catalytic oscillator non-linear self-oscillations without autocatalysis can be produced from the catalytic trigger by adding a «buffer» step where BZ is an intermediate that does not participate in the main reaction. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Network structure and dynamical properties. One of the main problems of chemical reaction network theory is the connection between network structure and properties of dynamics. This connection is important even for linear systems, for example, the simple cycle with equal interaction weights has the slowest decay of the oscillations among all linear systems with the same number of states. For nonlinear systems, many connections between structure and dynamics have been discovered. First of all, these are results about stability. For some classes of networks, explicit construction of Lyapunov functions is possible without a priori assumptions about special relations between rate constants. Two results of this type are well known, the deficiency zero theorem and the theorem about systems without interactions between different components. The deficiency zero theorem gives sufficient conditions for the existence of the Lyapunov function in the classical free energy form G C equals I C I Lane C I C I minus one display style G C equals sum underscore I C underscore I left lane frac C underscore I C underscore I carrot asterisk minus one right where C I display style C underscore I is the concentration of the ITH component. The theorem about systems without interactions between different components states that if a network consists of reactions of the form N K A I J beta K J A J display style n underscore k a underscore i to sum underscore j beta underscore k j r underscore j for k r display style k l e q r where r is the number of reactions a i Display style underscore i is the symbol of ith component n k one display style n underscore k g e q one and beta k j display style beta underscore k j are non-negative integers and allows the stoichiometric conservation law m c equals i m i 
C I equals const display style M C equals sum underscore I M underscore I C underscore I equals text const where all M I greater than zero display style M underscore I greater than zero then the weighted L one distance I M I C I one T minus C I two T Display style sum underscore I M underscore I C underscore I carrot one T C underscore I carrot two T between two solutions C one T C two T Display style C carrot one T C carrot two T with the same M C monotonically decreases in time. Topic Model reduction Modeling of large reaction networks meets various difficulties. The models include too many unknown parameters and high dimension makes the modeling computationally expensive. The model reduction methods were developed together with the first theories of complex chemical reactions. Three simple basic ideas have been invented. The quasi equilibrium or pseudo equilibrium or partial equilibrium approximation a fraction of reactions approach their equilibrium fast enough and after that remain almost equilibrated The quasi steady state approximation or QSS some of the species very often these are some of intermediates or radicals exist in relatively small amounts they reach quickly their QSS concentrations and then follow as a slave, the dynamics of these other species remaining close to the QSS. The QSS is defined as the steady state under the condition that the concentrations of other species do not change. The limiting step or bottleneck is a relatively small part of the reaction network, in the simplest cases it is a single reaction, which rate is a good approximation to the reaction rate of the whole network. The quasi-equilibrium approximation and the quasi-steady state methods were developed further into the methods of slow invariant manifolds and computational singular perturbation. The methods of limiting steps gave rise to many methods of the analysis of the reaction graph. <laughs> <laughs> 